Hello nerds, today is Friday June the 21st and that means it's time for the 172nd game of the Meditation Games. Today's game was made by Devin Horseman and he's left a very long blurb for us which I'll read out for you now. Long time you didn't register it was there, buzzing inside, down there, trying to get up in the throat. Now it's grip grabbing every inch like a harness tied around the chest, binding you to your worry work, scatter thoughts rambling all over. Shaking down sharp things from your skull. Wait. Breathe slow. Are you okay? This is the turning point. Slowed cloud bursts of light. The apex of the sun. Wherever it is you are right now, things are going to be fine. The gears of the world wind in unfathomable complexity. And isn't it wonderful that they wound up winding up you? Just from a cursory read and not being able to understand exactly what this means, is it about an anxiety attack? I wonder if it's about an anxiety attack or something. But who knows? Well, he knows, obviously. And hopefully we will know when we play the game and everything comes together. What the hell happened there? Oh, an arrow. Or we're not gonna. Okie dokie. So, uh, the meditation isn't working today, there's a file missing, so the creator has very kindly put a, um, a zip file up on Twitter that we've been able to access, download, and run, most importantly, so here it is. Alright, what have we got here? We have a blob, a black blob of anxiety. Uh, the game was also called Anxiety, so yes, I was on the ball with that one. On the ball, on the mark. Whatever, I was correct. So, praise me. Uh, I don't actually know what's going on here. <laughs> oh, okay. Did I just break? I, I don't even know. What? Uh, okay, so clicking doesn't seem to do anything? Is it just movement? It's just movement. So my red... My little red pointer is, uh, breaking this thing. And it moves aw Like, I push this thing away. But it seems compelled to go back towards the center. And because it's quite viscous, it sort of distorts and pulls and warps around my pointer. Does anything it can to get back to the center. So the smaller it is, it obviously must not have the uh, the mass. And it's not unstable enough to warp around my pointer, so it just kind of obeys me until it gets to this size and it just splits and goes its own way. And I guess I've got to try and guide it to pick up all the little balls that are floating around. Oh, come on, I totally had that. <laughs> it's a really cool effect, though. I do like that. Uh, hard to tell, though, because there's, there's, like, a, a depth of field as well. Like, this, is, this looks like it's in 3D space. So, simply mashing the orb... Yeah, like then, mashing the orb into what I see as the circle isn't enough. It's got to be on the same, uh, sort of, access, same plane as I am. And that's really hard to gauge. There we go. Uh, uh, okay, and then it just, once I've collected it all, it just splits and does that thing again. So I don't have any control beyond that. Wow, I hit that really hard. <laughs> that went flying. Jesus. Look at that. Wow. That seems to be the best way of getting some distance. You just catapult a bit off. Okay, I was able to attract that one. And let's get that last one. Come on, you little fucker. <laughs> Come on! Okay, that... That did a thing! That flashed and completed. Why don't I do nothing? Apparently nothing happens. So yeah, it looks like I do actually have to interact with it to... I don't know. I'll be patient. I will be patient. My interaction with it does certainly seem to speed it up at least, though, which I wasn't entirely even convinced of, I'll be perfectly honest, so... Yeah, I'll just leave it going a bit longer, see what happens. They do seem to... like, they have these little orbits, 
And when they interact with others, it does seem to... Yeah, they, they interact with each other quite, you know, quite pronounced. I don't know how that one just went straight into my, uh, into my mass there. That just seemed to come from nowhere, went straight in. But yeah, they sort of pull on each other, they can push each other, they do influence each other's orbits, which is actually very interesting. I like that. That last one's going to be tricky. It'd be interesting to see if the last one does much. Like, those two are constantly, like, just sort of bouncing off each other, nearly gelling. Wow. <laughs> Weirdly, it's more interesting when I'm not interacting with it. That's really bizarre. Can I put... Oh, did I do that? Oh! What the hell? Oh, I've been overthinking this. I literally just have to tap them. <laughs> oh, dickers! <laughs> How cool is that? That's amazing. Oh, I like this. Why is, this, why is this one flashing all the time? Oh. Well, there you go. Ah. I would try and decipher what the blurb's saying and how it relates to the game, but it's using far more flowery language than I'm comfortable computing, so <laughs> I'm not going to. But yeah, from what I was able to kind of piece out from the blurb and stuff like that... Um, it reminds me of uh, breathing and grounding techniques that you use to overcome an anxiety or a panic attack. So, yeah. Alright, so how quickly can we blast through this? <laughs> now that I know how it actually operates. There's me fanning about with all that, trying to get it to... <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> Alright. To be fair, I don't need to touch much at the moment. It's just kind of... Come here. Oop, there we go. I'm not sure why it flashes on occasion. The blurb does mention something. Uh, slow cloud burst of light. Yeah, I'm not sure that what that really means. And it's doing shakies again. I think that one's amazing. I love that one. And that's exactly the same as it was last time, so it's not random. That's planned. That's got a meaning behind it. Um, I don't know what it is, but every time you hit it, there's that flash. So I'm assuming this is a much more positive thing. Maybe this is more symbolic of the idea of having that technique down, perhaps. So, I don't know. Harmony and the flashes of light every time you do it. Uh, I don't know. I wish I could actually understand what he's saying with all of those words, but I can't. <laughs> ah, well. I think you get the idea of what, what, of what he's uh, going for there. I imagine you guys are probably much more capable of piecing it together than I am, but... I get the gist, I get the gist. So, yeah, uh, that's today's meditation. I'll leave a link below to his Twitter and to his website, which has got some cool-looking stuff on there, his games and some bizarre hollow augmented reality thing going on. Feel free to check that out. And with that, I will say thank you very much to Devin for making today's meditation, and thank you very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care.